ta moja kwa moja kwako ili tuweze kuburudika na kumshukuru Mungu. Jambo la mwisho. Jambo la mwisho ni kuambia mtazamaji keep it captain TV because big things zinakuja mm -hmm. kwa kipindi hiki. Request yako kama kuna nyimbo zako pia nikiongezea uweze kututumia rafa ili tuweze kuzipanga pale top 10 itakuwa moto kweli. Karibu sana na usikae mbali. Washington trending story in a remarkable and unexpected turn of events for the Jesus Maris Carl the parochial vicar at St Paul Cathedral in Yakima Washington found himself Monday 20th November delivering twin baby boys for a homeless woman in distress what started as a quick trip for donuts turned into a life-changing moment for Father Maris Carl when he had the pregnant woman's urgent cries for help near the cathedral grounds Acting swiftly, he dialed 911, assisted the woman in giving birth to the first baby, and faced the challenge of delivering the second, who was still enclosed in the amniotic sac. Undeterred by the lack of tools, for the Maurice Carl successfully brought the second baby into the world but encountered a tense moment when the newborn wasn't breathing with the umbilical cord wrapped around his neck. Displaying remarkable composure and quick thinking, The priest tapped the baby on the back until he started breathing. The surreal experience left for the Maris Cal reflecting on the symbolic setting dressed in clerics holding a newborn amidst the shrine of Our Lady. Despite being late for marriage preparation meeting, he texted the engaged couple with a surprising apology explaining that he had been assisting a woman in delivering twins. The incident not only highlights the extraordinary circumstances under which Father Maris Carl demonstrated courage and compassion, but also draws attention to the broader issue of homelessness in Washington state. With over 25,000 people considered homeless in a single night in January, the story serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by marginalized communities. The hope is that this heartwarming yet challenging tale will spark awareness and discussions about the social and political conditions surrounding homelessness as emphasized by Akima Bishop Joseph J Tyson well done padre for your impact beyond the altar Siku ya familia ni siku ya furaha, upendo na umoja. Familia ni hazina ya dhamani tunayopewa na Mungu. Wakristo wa Jimbo la Kakamega mpo. Jumamosi hii tarehe 25 Novemba, Capuchin TV. Tutajiunga na mapadri, watawa na wakristu wa jimbo hilo katika siku yao ya kifamilia mwaka huu. Ibada ya misa itaanza saa nne asubuhi ikiongozwa na askofu Bani Sagwe wa jimbo hilo. Maadhimisho haya yatakufikia moja kwa moja kwenye runinga hii uipendayo na kwenye mitandao yetu ya kijamii. Kapuchin TV. Tunawatakia wakristu wa jimbo hilo baraka, upendo na furaha. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki
You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Hebrew chapter 5 verse 6. On Friday, 24th November 2023, a new laborer will be ordained to work in the vineyard of the Lord. The Capuchin Franciscan Friars and Our Lady of Perpetual Help Parish in Ichuni, Kisi County are immensely grateful to the Lord of the Harvest for calling Brother Victor Israel Nyaoko to serve in his vineyard. Tumsifu Yesu Christu, milele na milele, amina. Mimi kwa majina naitua ndugu Victor Nyaoko Mogi, ndugu Francisco Mkapuchini, natokea parokea ya Ichuni, our Lady of Perpetual Help, Chimbo la Kisi. Na walika kwenye shere yangu ya upatrisho, ambayo itafanyika siku ya ijuma, namo tare 24, mwesi November. The Holy Mass will start at 9 a.m. East African time, presided over by Bishop Joseph Mairura Okemwa of the Catholic Diocese of Kisi. Capuchin TV extends warm congratulations to Brother Victor Nyaokomogi on this occasion. These celebrations will be aired live here on Capuchin TV and streamed concurrently in all our social media platforms. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Happy 10th anniversary, TLG. Woo! I am Sister Elizabeth Onoja. I belong to the Missionary Sisters of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. And um, I'm currently serving as the program coordinator of the Leaders Guild. And I'm really delighted to say that it's been a decade of servant leadership and transformation through collaboration. Yes, it's been 10 years of positive impact. The Leaders Guild has been in existence for 10 years now and was officially started on 8th of December 2013. That was the day it was uh, officially launched. And um, the Leaders Guild is uh, a leadership initiative under the Center for Leadership and Management, Tangaza University College, and it started with the main aim of um, positively impacting society and that's our vision, leaders positively impacting society. You want to see a transformed society because everything rises and falls on leadership as alluded to by our guru John Maxwell. Where we are today as the Leaders Guild because of the blessings of God, we are where we are today because of the many contribution and the large-hearted generosity of people of goodwill who have supported us through the years. Indeed, it is a milestone worth celebrating in thanksgiving to God and to also thank our benefactors, our sponsors, our donors, our partners at different levels for watering this seed called the Leaders Guild. We will be recognizing the effort of key contributors and also we would want to uh, mention that through the support of people of goodwill, we've been able to impact life by engaging with emerging leaders and um, sisters, religious, Catholic religious sisters. Uh, we have engagements with the youth, whereby we also interact with them using one of our key services called um, the coaching, coaching approach and leadership. Coaching is a must-have tool for leaders in the 21st century. So happy to let you know that this is our 10th year of existence and welcome all to celebrate this milestone with us.
My name is Lucy Aguta from the Leaders Guild. I serve in the public relations and I am delighted to welcome you to our 10th anniversary celebration which will be at Tangaza University College from 9 to 5 p.m. on 3rd of December. And our theme is a decade of servant leadership and transformation through collaboration. We are delighted and happy to celebrate this milestone and we welcome you to celebrate with us. We, we invite, invite you all to the big celebration. Bila shaka ukiona viongo wa jua vyaelea, kumbuka mpenzi mtazamaji tumejipanga wakati huu tuwaletee kipindi kipya kabisa hewani ambacho kitakuwa kinajulikana kama tumshangilie kwa tenzi. Kipindi ambacho kitakuwa kinakujia katika runinga yako kila siku ya Jumanne kuanzia saa moja jioni. Na bila shaka Fred mwenyewe atakuwa pale kwenye diski atakuwa na changanya mambo. Tunasonga mbele na mimi nitakuwa pale Gabriel Muteti tukiziileta moja kwa moja kwako ili tuweze kuburudika na kumshukuru Mungu. Jambo la mwisho. Jambo la mwisho ni kuambia mtazamaji keep it captain tv because big things zinakuja mm -hmm. kwa kipindi hiki. Request yako kama kuna nyimbo zako pia nikiongezea uweze kututumia rafa ili tuweze kuzipanga pale top 10 itakuwa moto kweli. Karibu sana na usi kae mbali. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo milele na milele amina tukumtazamaji karibu kwa siku hii tuko katika jimbo la Kisi siku hii ni maalum sana sana kwa ajili ya ndugu yetu ndugu eh, Victor ambaye amekuwa shamazi sasa kwa muda wa miezi sita siku ya leo anapata upadilisho katika jimbo hili na katika parokia hii ya Ijuni tunajiunga na padri mmoja kutoka sehemu hii atueleze juu ya sherehe hii. Father karibu. Nashukuru sana ndugu kwa kunipatia nafasi hii ili niweze kujulisha watazamaji kuhusu sherehe ya leo ambayo ni Shemasi e, Victor Nyaoko Mogi anaenda kupewa daraja ya ubadilisho katika parokia ya Papecho Help Ichuni Parish katika jimbo la Kisi. Ifuraha kwamba Mungu ametupatia zawadi ya huyu ndugu yetu Victor ambaye siku ya leo anapewa daraja hii ya kipekee kuhudumia kanisa. Basi kwa majina naitwa ndugu Lucas na mimi pia natoka katika parokia ya Masimba. Tanga mwanzoni nilikuwa katika parokia hii ya Ichuni mahali ambapo pia niliweza kubadilishwa kama miaka moja ambayo imepita. Nami na furai kupata ndugu ambaye amekuwa mfuasi katika shirika letu la Franciscan Capuchin kutoka parokia hii. Kwa sasa tuko mapadri kama watano hivi kutoka eneo hii ya Masimba na vile vile Ichuni ambao sisi wote tuko katika shirika la Franciscan Capuchin. Ni furaha ya kipekee kupata ndugu ndogo kama huyu ambaye anachitolea kufuata e, daraja upadri na kuwa tayari kuhudumia kanisa. Namfahamu huyu ndugu kwa njia ya kipekee na kwa ukaribu zaidi kwa sababu kuna wakati shirika ilikuwa imenichagua kama muhudumu wa miito. Na wakati ambapo nilikuwa muhudumu wa miito, Victor alikuwa mmoja kati ya vijana ambao ni watembelea nyumbani nikaweza kuwashauri na pia kuwaelezea kuhusu shirika letu la Franciscan Capuchin na baada ya kavutiwa na maisha yetu ya kufuata mwenendo wa mtakatifu Francisco na hivyo akaendea na masomo yake vizuri kianzia kule umoja mpeketoni seminari yetu katika postulanzi ya kwanza na ya pili akaenda Tanzania kwa ajili ya kikundi kipindi tunaita novishiati baada ya novishiati alienda kusoma Zambia zaidi ya miaka mitatu kwa ajili ya filosofia baadaye akasoma Tangaza College Theolojia na kwa wakati huu Mwenyezi Mungu amembariki na ameweza kuhitimu vema 
na leo tunasherekea sikukuu yake ya ubadilisho. Ni furaha ya kipekee kwa kanisa na kwa shirika letu la ndugu wadoo wa Kapchini. Parukia hii ya Ichuni iko katika jimbo la Kisi ambapo jimbo hili tunaongozwa na mwashamba baskofu Joseph Mayura ambaye pia ni baba wa jimbo hili na amekuwa ana, anaimiza mito katika mashirika mbalimbali mbali, na vile vile hata kwa jimbo amekuwa msaada mkubwa kwa ajili ya kueneza mito kwa mahubiri yake na kututia moyo sisi wote ambao tunapenda kutumikia Mwenyezi Mungu na kwa siku ya leo tunamwombea Mwenyezi Mungu ambariki baba askofu wetu ambaye kwa njia ya kipekee na kuwa na ushirikiano na ku, kutupongeza sisi wa ndugu wa doa kapuchini kwa ajili ya kuhudumia taifa la Mungu. Vile vile katika shirika letu la Franciscan Capuchin tumepata miito mingi kutoka Kisi. Kwa sasa tuko saidi ya mapadri wa nane kutoka jimbo kuu la Kisi. Na, na bado kuna vijana wengine ambao my brothers wako kwenye formation na natumaini kwamba tutaendelea kuwa na miito zaidi kwa ajili ya kuendeleza kuendelea kuhudumia e, kanisa na vile vile shirika. Uh -huh. Nukuluka labda utuelezea unafanya kazi wapi na hapa njini Kenya wakapchini wa katika sehemu gani? Nashukuru sana kwa hilo. Nimehudumu katika sehemu mbali mbali tangu nibadirishwe. E, nilianzia e, chaplaincy kule Mata Hostel Nairobi kwa muda wa miaka mitatu. Baadae nikatumwa katika parukia ya Ruiru. Nikahudumu pia kwa miaka kama miine hivi. Baadae nikaenda Kericho, Kabianga. Na baada hapo nikaenda msabaa Marian Shrine na vile vile kwa sasa nafanya kazi katika parokia ya Kristo Mpanzi Mwema kule Mpeketoni. Na nafurahi kuhudumia watu wangu huko na ni watu wana ushirikiano mwema na pia wanampenda Mwenyezi Mungu. Kama mkurukenzi wa mito labda tuelezee ni nini hasa kijana ambaye anatuangalia kutoka sehemu mbalimbali hapa nchini Kenya angeweza angeweza kulifanya ili aweze kujiunga na shirika letu la Wakapchini. Santeni. Mtu yeyote hasa vijana ambao ungependa kujiunga na shirika letu kitu cha kwanza lazima awe mkristu ambaye kuna maadili mema na vile vile aweze kuwa amebatizwa na amepokea sakramenti e, hasa sakramenti ya ubatizo sakramenti ya ekaristi na kipaimara kwa hivyo awe ni mkristu ambaye amekomaa vile vile au ameitimu vema kwa shule na kupata at least a minimum ya C+ kuendelea juu na baada ya hapo akiwasiliana na mkurugenzi wa mito yani vocation director ataweza kumpatia mwelekeo zaidi. Kwa hivyo yeyote ambaye angependa kujiunga na shirika letu unapoona mkapchini yote mahali anafanya kazi mahali popote ukiwasiliana na yeye ataweza kukuunganisha na vocation director wetu na kaweza kusaidia. Shirika letu linaiga mfano wa mtakatifu Francisco ambaye alikuwa mtu wa sala ambaye alikuwa mtu mnyenyekevu na mtu ambaye alipenda kuhudumia kanisa kwa njia ya kipekee. Maisha yetu tunaimiza sana sala na kuhudumia watu wa Mungu kwa njia ya unyenyekevu. Bila shaka ungelipewa nafasi nyingine siku ya leo kwamba uchakue ungelichakua wa Kapchini ama sivyo? Kwa kweli napenda shirika la Wakapchini sana. Tenga mwanzoni kwa navutiwa na shirika la Uh, mini, na jim kujiunga na jimbo kwa sababu ndio nilikuwa nawafahamu lakini baadaye nilipojiunga na Franciscan Capuchin nilisikia nyumbani na nikapenda sana shirika hili hata kama ingekuwa nikupewa nafasi ya pili na ya tatu mimi bado ningebaki kuwa Franciscan Capuchin shirika la kipekee sana Asante sana huyu amekuwa ni ndugu Lucas Mongeri ambaye ni paroko kule Mpeketoni tunampongeza kwa kuweza kufika hapa kujiunga pamoja na ndugu zi wengine kwa ajili ya sherehe hii ya ndugu yetu Victor. Tunakushukuru sana Padri Asante. Tunajiunga vile vile na Catechist. Catechist wa sehemu hii aweze kutuelezea mambo machache mawili juu ya ndugu yetu Victor. Karibu. Kwanza kabisa ningependa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya siku ya leo na saidi ya hayo mimi ni mwalimu wa dini kwa majina ni Catechist Steven Onsongo Ateka kutoka nyama sivi emeangara na ni muhudumu wa barukia yetu Catechist wa center yetu ya mama mkatoliki mama mpendwa ambaye anatuongoza awa ready na saidi hayo 
Center yetu parokia yetu iko na zenta isilini na sita pamoja na chumuia miamoja theradini na saba. Na ilianza mwaka elfu moja miatisa istini. Na sasa hivi badli wetu ambaye ni badli baba baroko ni father Leverent John Ruokore Onsale ambao wanashirikiana pamoja na father Eric na wao wametuongoza vyema na wanatuelekeza visuli Asante sana mwalimu labda utuelezee kidogo juu ya vikundi mbalimbali katika parokia yenu vikundi mbalimbali mbali, kuna vikundi vya wamama kuna vikundi vya kina baba labda vikundi hivi vyote vinafanya kazi vilivyo basi katika center yetu ambaye ni barokia ya Ichuni kuna vikundi mbalimbali mbali, kuna kikundi ya kina mama na kuna kikundi ya kina baba kuna kikundi ya wanayuti na kuna kikundi ya walimu wa dini ambao kwa pamoja tunafanya kasi kwa pamoja ili ya kwamba tuone ya kwamba neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu inaenda mbele na tukiongozwa na badli wetu baba baroko John Onsare Ruokole. Yeah. Asante sana mwalimu labda ujumbe wote kwa vijana ambao wangependa kujiunga kwa mapadri kwa masista ujumbe wote kutoka kwa mwalimu wao. Basi mimi kama mwalimu wa dini ni ngependa kusema ya kwamba ni visuli vikundi ama vijana wachiunge na silika hili na zaidi ya hayo vijana ndio ndio watatusaidia katika uongozi wa kesho na watakia kila laheli ili ya kwamba waweze kufanya jambo na katika barukia yetu tuko na vikundi ya wanayuti ambao ndio walitusaidia katika kupamba zele ya shiku ya leo Asante sana mwalimu huyu amekuwa ni mwalimu katika siku kutoka sehemu hii Tayari kama unavyoona mtazamaji misa imeshaanza tayari askofu ashafika wa Kristo ameshafika muda mfupi ujao utakuwa na misa takatifu na kushukuru ujiunge pamoja na sisi siku ya leo uweze kubarikiwa pamoja na nasi kwa niaba ya Captain TV ni Father Vincent Shumila nikisema asante tuna karibu 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 tuweza kubarikiwa pamoja kwenye misa hii takatifu ya ndugu yetu Uh, uh, Victor brother Victor Deacon Victor ambaye siku ya leo tunamsherekea Asante Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki tunapojiunga pamoja basi tunda tena kuwajulisha mwisho wa misa tomba Mungu awabariki na katika siku ya leo tunaposherekea zawadi katika kanisa ya badri ngini toka wasabanga kumwacha simisiga kwa sababu irende ulende simu yao ulende kwetikiao ikagera tari tu instra kulende abana uto kulende la tai bolende so chonga simu yako kibeti chako na wewe mwenyewe sababu sio wote wanania ya kusa kusali asante ni sana kwaya tuanze wimbo wa entrance maana and second from now the mass will start thank you very much
mimi na bidhaa hizi nyimbo kumajiwa Bibi vuta bishi wako itakurai wako bwana nime nime vuta bishi wako itakurai wako bwana Bibi vuta bishi wako Nitakurai kwako bwana deme deme mtumishi wako nitakurai kwako bwana Mtumishi wako nitakurai kwako bwana deme deme mtumishi wako nitakurai kwako bwana deme mtumishi wako nitakurai kwako bwana deme deme mtumishi wako nitakurai kwako bwana Askofu wa Jimbo la Tendeke la Kisa Askofu Yosefu Mairokemwa Mkurgenzi wa Shirika Capuchino Costo Arnold Mheshimiwa mabadi wote watawa wa kikiona kiume na wakristo msifu Yesu Kristo Basi na mwalika Father Baroko ili aweze kutoa ombi ya makaribisho Baba askofu wetu Joseph Okema Mairura wajimbo letu la Kisi wa mkuu wa shirika na ndugu yetu Shemazi Victor Vika General wetu mapadri wote all the deacons watawa viongozi wetu na wakristu wote tumusibu Yesu Kristo milele na milele nyasae nomu ya nechinga kijonzi nyasae nomu ya nonye nekere mburego tuwa mungu ni muema baada ya miaka kumi baada ya miaka kumi leo tumerudi hapa katika barukia hii yetu. Na shirika hili kwa sacrament ya daraja. Tuna wapongeza wote mbao mefika hapa katika misa itakatifu. Hili kumuombea huyu ndugu yetu ambaye atapewa daraja hii ya sacrament hii ya daraja. Karibuni nyote mjisikie nyumbani katika misa itakatifu sasa tunamkaribisha baba askofu ili atuongoze katika misa itakatifu kwa makofi moja mbili tatu tena asante baba askofu karibu sala zetu sote sala zetu sote sote leo ni kwa <coughs> ni hii tombo kilikuwa na pastoro sio mimi <laughs> na muombeni wa Kristo apense muombe huyu ndugu yetu Shemazi anaenda kupata hii daraja ya upadri na sio mchezo kwa hivyo atahitaji maombezi yetu 
kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amani iwe kwenu basi ndugu na dada zangu tukiri dhambi zetu sasa hivi ili tupate kustailishwa kuadhimisha mafumbo matakatifu haya na muungamia Mungu mwenyezi kwani nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa matendo na kwa kutotimiza waje nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana namboma Maria mwenye heri bikira daima malaika na atakatifu wote nani ndugu zangu niombeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu Mungu mwenyezi aturumie atusamee dhambi zetu atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele E Bwana Mungu wetu unaliongoza taifa lako kwa kutumia huduma ya mapadre umjalie huyu shema sindu yetu vikta wa kanisa lako uliyependa kumteua leo kwa kazi ya upadre astahili astahimili 
kukutumikia katika mapenzi yako ili kwa huduma na maisha yake aweze kutafuta utukufu wako katika Kristo anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Then I'll lock the ball up, Mungu. Ogosoma, Ogosoma, Ogotangani, Ogosoma, Egetabu, Chomovani, Isaya. Asomwa Koria, Omorwoti, Usia, Akwete. Nkaromonene, Oikaranste, Ase, Kerogo, Kiawanene, Kiai Mokerete, Igoro. Egesicho, Kiai, Nigo, Kiarenge, Kego Kurura, Inse. Nigo gya icholete ase karu yonsi. Weta nana ase omonene. Awa serafi mbate neine aroro. Kero yomobo nigabwate chimbaba isano nemo. 
Nakera oyomo nigo atubete obo subuaye ne chimbaba ibere. Na amagoraye ne chimbaba ibere. Na kairurukera chimbaba chinde ibere. Bakarangera niam, bagateba. Omo chenu, omo chenu, omo chenu. Nere omo nene buye meganda. Obo nene buye waichoire ase ensengima. Amariogi ayoko rangera niya koria. Agatenge chia obo roso. Uwe metobuwa ya inseye visieri vye karu. Na erioki rigaichora ime ase enyombelia. Erio ngateba. Obo we no buwane. Eki agera na sirire. Nche nigo mbukate evi koba vita chene geti. Na nigo imenyeta se gati haba antobo mbukate evi koba vita chene geti. Na ende amaisane arolire omorwoti. Oyore omonene weme ganda. Erio omoserafi oyomo akairuka gocha sende. Obogore tie ase okoboko kwa yeri karari reno morero. Elio aruse tie neri gami korwa sege sasi mero. Elio aga kuna omonuane neri karari ria. Aga teba. Rora, vi kareri rio morero ria kunire evi kobabi yao. Ogosaria kwa o kwa rusi weo na evi bebi yao vya veirwe. Mayega ya iyo, mkaiwa omo nene okoboria, ningo ngotoma, na ningo oranyare koba omo tomo ito, kaira neria ngateba. Na oinda, ntome, engana ya nyasae. Saburi ya kuitikizana, kitikio kwa maneno. Ndiwe kuhani ata milele kwa mfano wa meliki sedeki. Ndiwe kuhani ata milele kwa mfano wa meliki sedeki. Ndiwe kuhani ata milele kwa mfano wa meliki sedeki. Ndiwe kuhani ata milele kwa mfano wa meliki sedeki. Tutasaidiwa na wanakwaya. Diwe kuhani ata milele Kwa mfano wa meli kise deki Diwe kuhani ata milele Kwa mfano wa meli kise deki Diwe kuhani ata milele Kwa mfano wa meli kise deki Diwe kuhani ata milele Kwa mfano wa meli kise teki Mwana ame wangia wana wangu Eti mwana wangu wakule Mabali wafanya kwa adui zako Yeah. 
Somo katika parua kwa waebrania. Kila kuani mkuu anachaguliwa kutoka kati ya watu. Na kuwekwa wakfu kwa ajili ya watu katika mambo ya muusuyo mungu. Ili atole dhabiu na sadaka kwa ajili ya dhambi. Anawesa kuwafahamu watu wenye maarifa na wenye kupotea. Kwa sababu mwenyewe pia ameshikwa na udhaifu. Kwa hiyo hana pudi kutolea sadaka kwa ajili ya dhambi za watu wengine na zake pia. Hakuna anayechitualia cheo hiki isipokuwa yule anayeitwa na Mungu kama Aruni. Kadhalika Kristu hakujipatia mwenyewe cheo cha kuani mkuu ila alipewa naye aliyemwambia wewe uu mwana wangu mimi nimekusaa leo kama anavyosema pia mahali pengine wewe ndiwe kuani milele kadiri ya mfano wa Melkisedeki Kristu alipoishi duniani alimtolea sala na maombi kwa kilio na machosi yeye aliyeweza kumwokoa kati ya mauti akasilikiswa akasikilizwa kwa sababu ya ujaji wake ingawa ni mwana alichifunza utii kwa njia ya mateso alipokamilika alikuwa chimbuko la wokofu wa milele kwa wote wanaomtii akatangazwa na Mungu kuwa kuani mkuu kwa mfano wa Melkisedeki neno la Bwana shangilio la injiri Hallelujah 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 hallelujah
Ruka isidene na mbire kumina ine adi ishirini. Saa iripa wadia aliketi mesani yeye pamocha na mitume wake. Aka wambia nimetamani kwa hamu kubwa kuila pasaka hii pamocha nanyi kapura ya kuteswa kwangu. Kwani na wambieni Sita ila tena ata itimise katika ufarume wa mungu. Akapokea kikombe, akashukuru, akasema. Tuwaeni iki, mwagawiane, kwa maana na wambieni. Toka sasa sita kunywa tena usao wa msabibu ata ufarume wa mungu uche. Akatua mukate. Aka shukuru, aka umega, aka wapa, aki sema. Uu ndiyo mwiri wangu, utolewao kwa achiri yenyu. Fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu. Fivyo hivyo, aka kituwa kikombe, paada ya kula, aka sema. Kikombe hiki ni agano chibia, katika damu yangu, imuawayo kwa achiri yenyu. Yenu. Inchiri ya buwana. Mwalika mkurugenzi wa mito ili aweza kumwita Shamasi ambaye atapokea daraja la ubadhi. Na tunawaomba kuzishangilie kabla hajasema nipo. Yule atakai pewa daraja ya upadre ajonge hapa. Shemasi Victor Nyauko Mwogi, Mwana Wagidion Mumanyi na Mary Francisca Mwogi kutoka Nyamasivi parokia hii ya Ichuni. Kujasikia, songea mbele kiasi kwenye maiki ita kupata. Anaweza. 
tutaifikia basi kwaya weka wimbo anapojongea altarini kuvaa mitra mpugenzi kwa mitoa tamkabidhi shemasi kwa baba askofu Baba mweshimiwa, mama kanisa takatifu, aumba umpe huyu ndugu yetu, madaraka ya upadre. Ke, wajua kama anastahili? Baada ya kuwauliza wa kristu, na kupata uthibitisho wa watu wanausika, na shuhudia kwamba anastahili. Kwa msaada wa buwana, kwa msaada wa Bwana Mungu na wa mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo tunatumtumteua huyu ndugu yetu Victor apewe daraja ya upadri. Sote tuseme tumshukuru Mungu. Asante sana. Sasa Victor anaitwa Padre Mteule anachukua nafasi yake na tujaandae kuomelea
my dear people of God and people of goodwill, God is good and all the time to msifuni Yesu Christu milele na milele my dear people of God I want to invite you warmly to take part in today's celebration in which we will ordain Deacon Victor Momanyi Nyaoko to priesthood. Makofi. <laughs> this deacon chose to be a priest in the order of the Captain Friars, where he will be a servant of Christ for all his life. This is a long journey. Indeed, in which he will walk alone and freely to be sent by the Lord. But he's not really alone because the Holy Spirit is accompanying him. Washington Trending Story In a remarkable and unexpected turn of events, for the Jesus Maris Cal, the parochial vicar at St. Paul Cathedral in Yakima, Washington, found himself Monday 20th November delivering twin baby boys for a homeless woman in distress. What started as a quick trip for donuts turned into a life-changing moment for Father Maurice Carl when he heard the pregnant woman's urgent cries for help near the cathedral grounds. Acting swiftly, he dialed 911, assisted the woman in giving birth to the first baby, and faced the challenge of delivering the second, who was still enclosed in the amniotic sac. Undeterred by the lack of tools, for the Maurice Carl successfully brought the second baby into the world but encountered a tense moment when the newborn wasn't breathing with umbilical cord wrapped around his neck. Displaying remarkable composure and quick thinking, the priest tapped the baby on the back until he started breathing. The surreal experience left for the Mariscal reflecting on the symbolic setting, dressed in clerics, holding a newborn amidst the shrine of Our Lady. Despite being late for marriage preparation meeting, he texted the engaged couple with a surprising apology, explaining that he had been assisting a woman in delivering twins. The incident not only highlights the extraordinary circumstances under which Father Marie's Carl demonstrated courage and compassion, but also draws attention to the broader issue of homelessness in Washington state. With over 25,000 people considered homeless in a single night in January, the story serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by marginalized communities. The hope is that this heartwarming yet challenging tale will spark awareness and discussions about the social and political conditions surrounding homelessness, as emphasized by Akima Bishop Joseph J. Tyson. Well done, Padre, for your impact beyond the altar.
Surat uh, said this is a wrong journey indeed in which he will walk alone and freely to be sent by the Lord. And I told you, he is not really alone, but he is with the Holy Spirit. It will be God. God confounds the, the sin. And I, I did not know about this young man. Now I discover that he is going to walk alone. involved to make such a decision. Behind the decision is reason and will. One has to make an informed, responsible, and mature decision to walk the way. It is the, this informed, responsible, and mature decision that makes him accountable and responsible in the congregation. Once this decision is made, he can't run away from it without damaging his integrity and credibility. Once reason and will have been involved without coercion of any kind, then it means that you belong to Christ, my friend, and your congregation that will be an instrument in which you will serve God. Along this journey is absolutely essential to the yes you will say before God and his people today. It is this free yes that gives you the legitimacy to your conscious resolve to become a priest. Congratulations, my friend Victor. At this point, I want, yes, yes, Margaret Jean Kobe. At this point, I want to thank all those that have been involved in helping you to make the right decision. May God bless them all, beginning with your family, the family of three and they have given away one. Now they have remained two. Una yose una maria. Bakaru yeso kere so bakatigara boka. Priest of God, always remember that your authentic yes will become your gate pass to our spiritual spheres. Because you have the gate pass through the ordination, it is these uh, spheres people will not welcome foxes. The people of God wanting forgiveness will lay bare their hearts so that your authentic yes may cancel their dark negative spots of no and heal them completely because spots of no always implicate darkness. We have not touched the sacred evangelical instrumentality of a priest. Of course, uh, the priest is always an instrument of Christ in his salvific mission. The world longs for your healing and sacramental engagement. 
Only the sacramental engagement can bring us to the threshold of the Holy of Holies. At this wonderful threshold of Holy of Holies, nobody can uh, behold the magnitude and intensity of God's infinite love and remain the same. Otene nebo si wanya sai. Togo ti garabuna kwarenge. Pakko mo yo ochenji. Pakke birengere ri biya wi chenji birengere ri bibe. Biru asole o ena yo monto muya. Togo sike. Lakini nyonye nembe e vinte bibe kwarengere ri ukali uke merumi. Chakajinya mukirimbi. Chakajinya ba isuzu. Ndi wo sing to talk about here. The rays of God's infinite goodness will simply sweep us off our stubborn self and make us give room to God in total surrender. Even if this sounds difficult, but if you, I give you examples, you will know what I'm talking about. You, you look at uh, St. Thomas, one of the greatest writers in the Catholic Church. When he wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote and the, the things he wrote were many in those days, he reached somewhere and he could not continue. He attained what we call a beatific vision. When he was in front of the, the blessed sacrament and looked at the cross, Jesus spoke to him. He said, Thomas, you have written well of me. What would you want me to give you? Thomas said, nothing but God. I want nothing else but you. Nothing else but you. Nis Domine. Moses was completely swept off his ground and gazed at the burning bush that was not consumed. That is the wonder and glory and immensity of God which touched him and he, he could not do anything. He had to be transformed. Petro and Nachemis, Nachon, before the transfiguration, James, Peter, and John were there. When our Lord was transformed and his face changed to be almost white like snow, also these apostles were also changed, which means God changes us. When he looks at us and he sees how desperate we are, he touches us and he changes us to be like William. So uh, Peter and James and John were also touched and they were confused. They didn't know what to say. And Peter came and asked Jesus to build the tents, one for this, one for that. And you remember that. But also Zachariah in the temple, you remember him. He had to come out speechless. When the angel Gabriel delivered the message, he came out speechless. Before God, we are speechless. In Paul tried to hang on to his horse, but wapi. He fell down before the divinity of his master, which means he was touched by the immensity and glory of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Coming back a little more to the long journey to priesthood, I have already referred to the priesthood as a journey from one point to another. Terminus aquo et terminus ad quem. I must say that the point of departure and the point of arrival are necessarily connected. In between these two points, one undergoes a rhythm and pattern of occurrences. 
One might be thirsty, he might be hungry, he might be sweating, he might be having deep breath and feeling pain to get to the end point of your journey. All these things can happen. Those are what, what I call rhythmic uh, patterns in occurrences. Sometimes you have experience and you have tension, very bad tension, which prompts you to have a rest before you continue. But what, what wants you to go ahead? You remember what happened to Elijah? He was eating up, but he was given food to eat and he was told to go on. So he will tell you to go on once tension overcomes you. This rhythm pattern of ups and downs in characteristic of our journey to ordination or even Calvary is a reality. It's a reality we must undergo. And even in priesthood, we must go undergo several of these. It is my hope that a good Samaritan may give you a bottle of cold water that can refresh you along your journey to Christ who is waiting for your friends. And true enough, in our journey, our Christians have never left us alone. If we are hungry, they will give you food. If you are thirsty, they will give you water. If you don't have enough clothes, they will give you clothes. If you don't have shoes, they will give you shoes. <laughs> the Christ that has been waiting for you will Christify, Christify you as I anoint your hands with Christ. This is a very important point. Because at that time, it is a very intense moment. When your very self radically changes to be like Christ, you are the other Christ, as we say, alter Christus, so that you, you, you have nothing of yours left. At this point of Christification, it is Jesus who uses my hands as a bishop to claim you, to claim you to be forever his. He claims you. From today, he will claim you. There is no going back, priest of God. Kwa hivyo, usisumbue watu wa mungu. I'm not ordaining you to give the people of God problems. You should arrange that they are happy. Wala usinisumbue Victor kwa sababu unaweza kukwambia shirika lako umetoka kisi sasa unakuja hapa kunisumbua. Hakuna. Kuna nafasi kama hiyo. Usinisumbue wala usisumbue wakuu wa shirika lako. Kichwa umekileta mwenyewe. Bas unabudi kunyolewa na nyembe za Mungu. Unabudi Kunyolewa na nyembe za mungu kuwa tayari kuitikia sauti ya buwana maishani wako. I'm almost finishing. I can see some people sleeping. But I ask you to wake up because what I'm saying is you will never forget. I've already alluded to challenges that come our way as we try to answer to our call. The readings today lead to the answer to our vocation. Kindly when you have time, read these readings, especially Isaiah, the vocation and call of Isaiah. It is a very deep uh, reading. 
or even the, the second reading, Jesus, the compassionate high priest, where we are told that every priest is taken out of humanity to be sent and to offer sacrifices for people and for himself. The Passover is in Luke, the ultimate sacrifice to redeem us, the institution of the Eucharist and the priesthood makes this possible. These sacraments that he instituted, Asaramisi and Tagatiu, Eucharistia, Nabosasroti, Boriwatan, Oseuatan, Nabosasroti, Kuru Eucharistia. They are connected. For today, I invite you to reflect on this vision of Isaiah that is so deep and frightening. Reflect on it. Because even if even if our brothers and sisters from the other places say that this is a, a dream, it has no substance, it has... No, 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 no. I know, we know that it is symbolic. But whatever is symbolic is also real. Truth, truly speaking, it is, whatever is symbolic is also real. So the call of Isaiah seems to be at the end of... Uh, King Isaiah's or Uzziah's, Uzziah's reign, who died in the year 742. He had ruled for 40 years. He worked hard with his people to bring about great prosperity. Uh, you all know that to be very prosperous is not necessarily a good thing. Prosperity all over the world has turned people to be materialistic to such an extent that they forget their religion and God. They hang on to material things, forgetting God, forgetting their true vocation to God. That is what Isaiah, in his mission, has to confront. He confronted these people, that they should never forget God. Our faith has been put to the test in the history of mankind. Others praise it. Others praise our, our faith, the Catholic Church. Others discredit it. And non-believers make a mockery of it. Atheists have done their worst in presenting God as a, a non-entity. Woe to you people who do that. To this extent, as a, a philosopher in Germany called Friedrich Nietzsche, he who celebrated the death of God. Nyasai nakwe. Eh? Onyo go kuta hita hi nyasai. Ko inu mondo. But this man, in his madness, that he was so learned, he celebrated the death of God. Many others saw faith as the opium of the people. Karl Marx being one of them. Well, ages have proven them wrong. Even Richard Dawkins of Oxford University has had difficulty in explaining John Lennox how God does not exist. Is evolution the answer? Never. No. Our God is the answer. He is a living God who was, who is, and who will ever be. Our God is a living God who made sure that his son defeated death once and for all. This God is infinite and outside space and time, you can't box him. You can't say, I'm in here for a box. We cannot manipulate his existence that is totally other and all-powerful. Now, 
Onsi ko aturi ge tamai to. Ago sawa. To ko anye nya sao ito. To susuraba anta wale muina. Na wa wa te wanga. Nya sao ito to echi nguru tuwa kongo ante mono. Oti nya sao yomo. Kori fuga anche taba anto onsi. Mare ngele liu ya wano. Let us hold on to our faith in the midst of all these tests. The one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church will always, always prevail if you remain firm. Always. Brothers and sisters, in the unrenting reality of attacking Christians, please turn to Our Lady who will help us find our way to Jesus who is the way, the truth, and the life. Mary, Mary, our dear mother, intercede and protect your children. There is a song which I usually sing when I see that people have a problem with respecting our mother. Then I sing. I'll sing a hymn to Mary, the mother of my God, the virgin of all virgins of David's royal blood. On the tail of there. Of David's royal blood. Oh, teach me, holy Mary, a loving song to frame. When wicked men blaspheme thee, I love and bless thy name. Mungi no yon konye san. Na inu pakaba konye. Mteule atajongea mbele ya baba askofu ili apate kuojiwa. Mwanangu Mwanangu mpensi Victor kabla hujachongea kupewa daraja ya upadri ya kupasa kuonyesha mbele za mta watu nia yako ya kupokea madaraka hayo je wataka kutimiza daima kazi ya upadri kama msaidizi mwaminifu wa maaskofu e, na hasa mimi katika kulichunga kundi la Bwana kwa uongozi wa Roho Mtakatifu nataka wataka kuadhimisha mafumbo ya Kristo kwa uchaji na uaminifu kama yaliyo mapokeo ya kanisa kwa sifa ya Mungu na utakatifu wa watu nataka wataka kufanya wema wema na kwa hekima kazi ya kuhubiri njili na kueleza amani kato, imani katoliki nataka 
wataka kujiunga zaidi na zaidi na Kristu kuhani mkuu yeye aliyejitolea mwenyewe kwa baba akakifanya sadaka safi kwa ajili yetu na kwa kuchitolea kwa Mungu pamoja naye kwa ajili ya uokovu wa watu kwa msaada wa Mungu nataka sasa mtule anamwendea baba askofu akipiga magoti anaidioti Victor waahidi kunipa mimi na waandamizi wangu kunipa mimi wangu na a wakuu wa shirika lako uti naidi Mungu aliyeianza hiyo kazi njema nao yeye mwenyewe aikamilishe na askofu akisimama hali ya kutoa mitra anatualika kwa sala ya litania Ni kwa sababu ni mimi ninamuodei. Kwa utani utaniti. Kisha utatii wakuu wa shirika lako. The Catholic Church is a church of order and sacraments. Sasa ukitoka kwa shirika lako ukicha nyumbani hapa kwa holiday yako. Uwezi kuchifanya kama mtu mwingine? Tutakabiliana. sasa skofu bila mitra alex mama atualike kwa sala kwa litania eh wa kristo apenzi tumuombe mungu baba mwenyezi amjalie wingi wa mapaji ya mbinguni huyu mtumishi wake victor aliyemteua kwa kazi kwa kazi kwa kazi ya upadre mteule anajilasa na askofu apige magoti na tuliona nafasi tafadhali tupige magoti kwa ya wimbo wa litania
upende kumbariki. Namte ule huyu upende kumbariki na kumtakasa. Namte ule huyu upende kumbariki na kumtakasa na kumweka wakfu. na wetu tunakuomba utusikize na huyu mtumishi wako Victor mshushie baraka ya Roho Mtakatifu na nguvu ya neema ya Upadre umtunze daima kwa wingi wa mapaji yako huyu tunayemtolea awekwe wakfu Sasa mteule atasimama. Atapiga magoti mbele ya baba askofu. Baba askofu atamwekea mikono kisha mabadi wote watafuata na kumwekea mkono Father Sioro
Uena siye bwana baba mtakatifu Mungu mwenyezi wa milele wewe ulie asili ya utukufu na mwawaji wa vio vyote kwako wewe vitu vyote vinapata kustawi na hali ya ubinadamu wetu inaimarika na kuwa bora zaidi kufuata utaratifu wa hekima yako ndivyo daraja za ukasisi na kazi ya walawi zilivyoanza na kukuwa ajili kwa ajili ya mafumbo matakatifu hata ulipoweka maskofu wa kuongoza watu uliwachagua watu wengine wawe na daraja na cheo chini yao wapate kuishiriki kushiriki na kuwasaidia katika kazi zao ndivyo pia kule jangwani ulivyo eneza ro ya Musa kwa njia ya watu sabini wenye busara wakawa wasaidizi wake miongoni mwa watu hata akaweza kutawala kwa uraisi kundi kubwa la watu hivyo uliwajalia wana Haruni ukamilifu wa ukuani wa baba yao ili wawekwe wawekwe makasisi wa kutosha kutoa sadaka ya wokofu na kufanya mara nyingi mambo matakatifu ya kazi hiyo kwa hekima hiyo e bwana uliweza kuongoza mitume wa mwanao walimu wa kufundisha imani na wakaieneza njili ulimwenguni kote kwa maubiri yao kwa sababu hiyo tunakuomba e bwana utujalie wasaidizi hao katika unyonge wetu kwa maana kwa diri kwa kadiri tulivyo dhaifu ndivyo tunavyohitaji wasaidizi hao wawe wengi zaidi e bwana mwenyezi tunakuomba umpe huyu mtumishi wako Victor taraja ya upadre umtie roho utakatifu moyoni mwake e Mungu umjalie kazi ya cheo cha upadri cha pili atoe na mfano wa mwenendo mwema kwa maisha yake awe msaidizi wetu Mwema katika daraja ya ukasisi ili maneno ya njili yapate kuenea pande zote za dunia mataifa yote yafanywe naye katika Kristu yawe taifa moja takatifu la Mungu kwa ajili ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu mwanao anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Amen 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 sasa mtumishi anaitwa Father Victor baada ya sala Badri Victor sasa atasimama apige magoti mbele ya baba askofu ili apoke mafuta ya Christmas Saman pale atasimama na atafalishwa rasmi mavazi ya kikohani
sabadi apiga magoti apo mafuta krisma bwana yesu ambaye baba alimpaka mafuta kwa roho mtakatifu na nguvu akulinde vikta kwa ajili ya kuwatakaza wa Kristu na kumtolea Mungu sadaka Victor, Majonga, Baba, Skofu, 
apokee vyombo vya kikuhani Victor pokea sadaka ya taifa takatifu ya kumtolea Mungu fahamu hayo utakayoyatenda fuasa hayo utakayoyafanya patanisha maisha yako na fumbo la msalaba wa Bwana Amina kofu atamkumbatia na kumkaribisha kwa familia ya Kikohani na sasa mabandi wote tafadhali karibu ule father Arnold superior wa Capchino anamwalika ndugu yake katika familia ya Kikohani or priest kindly Mabadi tafadhali jo mpongeze na kumwalika Padre Victor kwa familia ya Kikohani kwa ya wimbo na askofu wetu hapa moja watapongea wa Kristu ana mwalika father Arnold na vika general hapa moja salamu Asante sana. 
sasa tujiandae kwa sadaka
Teddy Sadaka to Leo Toa, Matuleo Mashamba and Fuko, Quire Wimbo, or Matuleo.
Bwana Mungu pokea 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 Bwana kidogo sana Bwana pokea Bwana kidogo sana Bwana pokea Bwana Mungu 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 pokea Bwana kidogo sana waomba pokea Ya poni kidogo sana twaomba pokea Bwana Mungu 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 pokea Naponi kidogo sana kwaomba pokea Naponi kidogo sana kwaomba
Aleni ndugu na dada ili sadaka yangu na yenu ikubalike, ikubalike kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Bwana pokea sadaka mikononi mwako kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina lako. Na nia kwa mabaya sisi na mabaya za lako lote tutakufa. Amen. E Mungu uliyetaka mapadre wako watumikie altari takatifu na watu wako wewe ulia mwema kwa ajili ya sadaka hii uwajalie watumishi wako hawa na hasa Victor wakupendeze daima katika huduma yao nayo na ilete matunda ya dumuyo siku zote katika kanisa lako kwa njia Kristo bwana wetu Bwana awe nanyi Tendo la kufa na la kuleta wokovu tukushukuru wewe daima na popote e bwana baba uliye mwema mungu mwenyezi wa milele wewe kwa mpako wa roho mtakatifu uliweka mwana opeke awe kuhani mkuu wagano jipya na la milele na kwa mpango wako usio elezeka ulipenda kuani wake wa pekee utunzwe katika kanisa maana ye mwenyewe analipamba taifa Alilochipatia kwa kukuani wa kifalme na kwa wema wa kidugu amewateua watu pia ili washirikishwe huduma yake takatifu kwa kuwekewa mikono na katika jina lake waendele kuadhimisha sadaka ya ukombozi wa wanadamu wakianda karamu ya kipaska kwa ajili ya wana wako walitangulie taifa lako takatifu katika mapendo walilishe kwa neno lako na kuatia walilishe kwa neno lako na kuatia uzima kwa sakramenti nao wakitoa nafsi zao kwa ajili yako na kwa wokovu wa ndugu zao wajibidishe kufananishwa na sura ya Kristo mwenyewe na hatimaye wadumu katika kushuhudia imani ya upendo kwako kwa hiyo e bwana sisi pamoja na malaika na watakatifu wote tunakusifu Tukisema kwa shangwe
Hilo na nafasi tupige magoti na tusie tusimame kwa heshima. E bwana kweli mtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumbwa nawe kinakusifu kwa haki. Maana kwa njia ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo tendaji wa Roho Mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza wala uwaji kwa kusanya watu kwako ili toka mauyo ya jua hata machoyo yake dhabihu safi itolewe kwa jina lako basi e bwana tunakusi kwa unyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo e, tumekutolea ili uvitakaze upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho huyo huyo ili biwe mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya maana yeye mwenyewe usiku ule alipotolewa alitoa mkate na kikushukuru aliubariki akaomega na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema twaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakao tolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hiyo baada ya kula akitua kikombe na kukushukuru alikibariki akawapa wafuasi wake akisema twaeni mwe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano jipya na la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu Humbo la imani. <clears throat> adhimisha ukumbusho wa mateso ya mwanao yaletaye wokovu pamoja na ufufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake mbinguni na tunapoutazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uyangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye ulitaka kutulishwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake utujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho mmoja katika Kristo Yeye atufanye sisi tuwe kwako sadaka timirifu ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na Bikra Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mume wake huyo Bikra na mitume wako wenye heri na mashahidi wako watakatifu pamoja na mtakatifu Victor na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa mombezi yao mbele zako. Tunakuomba e Bwana huyu aliye kafara na upatanisho wetu alete amani na wokofu duniani kote. Upende kulimalisha kanisa katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako 
linalosafiri hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu Francisco na askofu wetu Yosefu Mairuro Kemwa pamoja na maaskofu wote wakilelo wote na watu wote unaowafanya kuwa taifa lako usikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii ulioita hapa mbele yako e baba uliye mtakatifu kwa huruma yako wakusanye kwako wanao wote wanao kusanyika popote duniani wapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote walio haga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja sibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu ambaye kwa njia ya kwa njia yake unaujalia ulimwengu mema yote Kwa njia yake pamoja na ena ndani yake wewe Mungu baba mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele kulitia gizo la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema sote baba yetu ulie mbinguni E bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo E Bwana Yesu Kristu uliyowaambia mitume wako amani na waachieni amani yangu na wapa na hii amani tuitamani sana Kenya yetu Israeli na Palestina usitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unaishi na kutawala milele na milele Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Upeane amani.
Tazama mwanakondoa wa Mungu tazama aondoaye dhambi za ulimwengu heri yao walio alikuwa kwenye karamu ya mwanakondoo Yesu Kristo Rabbi mwokozi Bwana sita ili rudi kwangu lakini Sara yo go tori wa sa no tori nyore ko munyo ya maria ba bon sabere maraiko no manjo go go ti asar tari anya sa sara yo wanja sa na manye no mu mero mutagati bo ye indi na manye nga yenwe e ki agera e we ka wate ba bo na jira ne ko ya ne o sara yo we ke ya sa ne go te wa ni no mutali o
Ti Sakta Matuku Kuna Pelika Mari Patrasmi
basi tusimame wote kwa utulivu kwa sala baada ya komoni tuombe E bwana labiu hii ya kimungu tuliyo kutolea na kuipokea iwaiwishe mapadre wako na watumishi wako wote ili wakisha unganika nawe kwa mapendo ya milele wastahilishwe kutumikia ipasavyo utukufu wako Wanja Kristo bwana wetu Tukiti wote Sasa ni wakati Badri Victor anakapidhiwa cheti cha Badrisho ndora ndo chenga mangana hiki le bono ono we come we rende nguba yaye e certificate yo koro kenga na nyo rubo sa shiroti le roi gai gai chumi o sa shiroti monto ta koiba kwaivo atapewa hiki cheti ya kuonyesha ya kwamba alipadrishwa hapa ichuni na upadre huwezi kuiba unapewa maso maso kwa watu na mbele za Mungu e, sasa hata ukitoroka mkuu wa shirika atakufuata akionyesha koti hiki cheti wewe uende popote ndugu yangu maneno ya mkush eh si amekush Wewe kwenda nyumbani ya saa sasa uanze ile disco yako ya I love you bitengo I love you bitengo hakuna kitu kama hiyo tena <laughs> So kwake inabaki na shirika mkuu wa shirika ata, atapokezwa hii Karibu sana katika kazi ya Bwana <laughs> Mutunge mtoto wangu eh msimpige <laughs> Sasa Badri Victor atambariki askofu Victor atambariki baba
ona o Cristo mwanye teke robu wa wa gesirwe wa orirwe wa sire otongore otongode ninje ngobonwa ngarita ngani Mungu baba mwenyezi ulimteua askofu wetu Yusufu Mairorokemwa kwa mchungaji wa jimbo letu. Na kusi umbariki, umlinde na umjalie hekima na buzara anapoendelea kuwaongoza watu wako kwako. Kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu. Baba Askofu naomba uniruhusu nitoe nitangaze matangazo haya kutoka kwa afisi yako Dao sisokisi Jose Mairo Kimwa the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Kissing. To all our priests, our religious men and women, and all the laity, opening of St. Luke, Gerongo Parish. Gre receive greetings from Bishop's office. I take this opportunity to communicate to you that the good Lord has enabled us to have our year For their generous support towards the construction of the Father's house, may God bless you all. Until then, I wish you Baba Askofu, and I to Alika to Kusherekea, we moa mungu, Taretisa. December mwaka huu kwa rokea mtakatifu ruka kirongo basi nyote mwalikwa ili tuweze kumshukuru Mungu siku hiyo Tare 20 Isa ya jubile ya maba Misa itafanyika nyabururu itanza saina asubuhi nyote mwalikwa Tarehe 16 Desemba kutakuwa misa ya sadaka maalum yetu katika jimbo na siku ya familia Misa itafanyika Mosocho na hiyo misa kutakuwa na mgeni Mheshimiwa 
Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya kama mgeni wetu siku hiyo basi wa Kristo wote mmealikwa katika hiyo siku ili tuweze kwa pamoja kusherekea matunda ya Sabelance katika jimbo Tarehe na tatu Desemba ni misa ya kina mama katika jimbo itafanyika Nyabururu na tarehe 30 Desemba ni misa ya kina baba wa Mkatoliki itafanyika Nyabururu na tarehe sita Januari mwaka 2024 ni misa ya watoto watakatifu PMC na misa itafanyika Nyabururu basi toomba tujanda vyema katika hizi misa ili Mungu aweze kutubariki kama jimbo tangazo kwa parokia ya Ichuni Jumapili tutakuwa na misa moja ya shukrani kwa ajili ya Badri Victor misa itaanza saa asubuhi hapa parokiani nyote mwalikwa na mjanda vema na zawadi zenu Tutuare misa ya mo aiga se parish ma pira soa kravia asomo sa siro tu ito victor e misa ni gira cha ka chinsinya chama mbi mo che mwensi aso bonge na se bigene beno aso ko akira nya sambia mono misa ya leo ita rodi wa tena katika kabjin tv sambil na nusu jioni na pia misa ilikuwa katika fan page ya Facebook na YouTube basi muomba kuwasaidia familia ya Caption TV katika huduma yao katika kueneza neno la Mungu na sasa tunawalika watoto bana ujumbe kwa baba askofu karibu sana na tukimaliza na ujumbe kwa watoto tunaenda moja kwa moja kwa zawadi zetu basi mwenele kuziweka tayari karibu parisha chuni ndobwateri shairi yake gusi erimo Ere bosi ai no ne parisha ichuni ndokwateri shairi erimo rieke gusi ekerenga na inde e omosa stoto ito israel victor nyaoko aseigo tware obotegereri obuya sana bono toche
Cinco vituensi, ayamu berisato. Ibiriato. Dia mono, asante sana. Wana yuti wote. Aba na yuti wa ichuni. Moga endega, lima ega seti konye karanste mu buate birogo biro bionsi gamu mu birogo chimu afata. Ariye kevanda keria. Dia mono. Baba skovu. Na mugeni wetu kwa esima, na mapadi wote. Kwa kristu, tumusivi yeso kristu. Mungu ni muema. Na kira wakati. Hata kama chua nikari. Hata kama niparidi. Asante. Kinga kiga, unatua. Ese parisi ya ito. Tuhu wake rumu unguru ngambi ya mono Na ande tisapauti Tuhu wiki saago No wale nge ga Papa skovu wale kapa Kama wiki mbiri sime pita Tume shukuru Pira kupotesa wakati Ningeomba sana Tuhu wale kukunia piso huu Kende higo kwa mwako to Kwa mwako ki ngambi ya tole Wano toko chukubu wa tiga. Sawadi kwa Papa Skofu. Tutaansa na sawadi ya parukia. Arab Church Groups. Kama ifu atafio. CWA, CMA, PMC, UT, Centers. Aravu. Paso no gifts, tumarise na kuwaya. Bono, tiganda angeli, Paris Council. Lete kewa kia Papa Skof. Ejine Paris Council egocha. Yechi nko vina ba achire vya igo. Bia mono. Bia mono Paris Council. Nchugocha kuwa niya Papa Skofu. Aya. Aba akubu ati ya. CWA. CWA. Nga ibare. Babu ati guna CMA. Asante, CWA, wako wapi? CMA, wawe tayare? Wako ranga CWA, vanyori sana? Mbaiyo. CMA, CMA, tokole buwango? Sita briyu na rodi babeire babeire anga inchuko chane kwa wukia ino inchuko na mure iko ni maya tenga chisese chisese kwa iguo morori uo manya ne iko na rote iyo si amwe o korampa iyo na bara bogo. PMC PMC Na buka buka ucha ikuwa ya Pa kuneri gamu na bako na ucha ika Nyechi nko vima buka ya in PMC Bia mono Youth In institution si nchuko ucha na inue Ok, na arodi siya mwe ya abeira ange nchuna mwere igo. Chisenta chinya kuweweka ange. Togo cha akrakuruwa sesoni ya nyabiyosi. Siya mwe nere yo. Baya chinko bimbi ya mono. Sita abriyue. Oko ramba yo. Abana yuth. 
ngai mure okora na barabu baraba tayari ngai bari basi na bwa bwa karibu sana biamono sita abriu e stiri na irani rase mure okay bona tu aso ile chisenta tu acha kire senta ya nyaviosi Nere yo Pratica, pratica. E sente ko vuatia? Narko ga ni mukat kisto nya biosi ate go cha egran ga idi. Aso bwango. Bia mone ya rule ga bunya biosi. E kerubo. E kerubo vuati go cha. Ine kerubo mukwerero i mukwerero kerubo ne re yo biamono nyansi muamu nyansi muamu esoni ya erire ichuri abore diabore son diabore nyene diabore nyene Ebu ati kune mbaru, eronge, na na chirangi rigo, anga chia kodi ebu ango, yo mangi ebu ati, ya bora anga muatanga ni abu ango, embaru, eronge, yo manga, na chisente chichire, yeni riri achira, ya bora ya chire ne kaya kukiya bo, yo manga e yo, ya mono. Embaro, biamono, yenero onge, yenero onge, ekerubu, biamono, biamono ekuaya, biamono, biamono, wano tuaso ire, tuaso ire soni ya mabuko. Soni ya mabuko tu wachakri na mabuko ya nyene Amabuko ebu hati uwe Mbari babu hati chivasa katika higa Mbari 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 Amabuko Yiyo mabu mbari 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 Bocari ngaji ere, boke ece, nyang sira, biamono, iya nere liye, bocari ye yima bun biamono, nyang sira tinda nyarora, boke ece tinda nyarora, nyati eko, Tokore bukanku, tokore bukanku, to tulia kaya tua kori de. Iya nere dia, yang siram dia mono, yang dia kom dia mono, boleh jantara ra, boleh jatinda hanya ra. Yang biasa, yang biasa, kiri ra. Nyai Yesa kiri dah boleh jadi tindak cerah gocha. Tua kori le Sony ayo. Toche Sony. Yai Chuni. Togo cakap nai Chuni aja ne. Ibu aku na hor cross keroka. Bama jadi tu na bawa kolebi tu buangku. Ibu aku na most hor Trinity. Bari mo rin na kaya kung chuko cha buwango, chuko cha buwango, embura ay ato nyo rin eh. Ori fa mi rikera waka, chuko cha chisente, chuna na chila ang kilima abun biyamo na ichu ni. Tokore buwango. Biyamo no, 
Yinkeroka, Gotiango, Gotiango, Keroke, Yo, Biamono, Yamusha Kemuya, Yamusha Kemuya, Biamono. Porque ya tiempo no cargo, ya te vi en una nava angrio, no cayó mora batalla de virete. Viamos no, ya muy seque muy ya. Viamos no. Tu aso iré ya más Simpson. Más si bien ya ne. Ebuati una omogogo. Eba achua. Gita acho. Nyanturago, Nyamashivi na Rejo, Biamono, Biamono Nyamashivi. Nyanturago tina nyaraga iga iba chunchugocha. Pari morita ya rete kegu inuma tebe inuma rapiti kegu nyakoganya. Omogogo, Getacho. Ijene ba chua, biamono. Nyantrago, biamono. Nyamagesa sentichudi, biamono. Biamono. Ijene ri ye. Geta chom, biamono. Biamono geta chom, biamono. Biamono. Bon, bono tu achi institutions. Nakiru moto li oyo oyo buat kende bahasa ya aje kende jos kiriu buat yang cukup jaga ikan norap norap pisau buma ikan dia mana dia ke skus naro jom harimu dia sega dia mana dia mana dia mana Kisukuru cai itu, nyakita cai itu. Le tangkau bi, kerana cai nogo caga iga. Biamono, biamono nara fatu ujo, biamono. Nyai esa, nyai esa, nyai esa kai mule. Nyai esa. Orang bayo, oh no, togo cahsi kuaya, kuaya ya parukia, kerja ni kia ino, macam mana ni aro yo, mau banyak koro berago, coba orang tua cakira, bang tua orang sini ni tua cakira, mau kai guru mana mau berset biaya iga, napa tua aga ambet di dia, mau kai guru nuam rori, buaya ses ses dek guru nuam rori, kuah mana ni? Sasa wala mba mko na zawadi zenu Hasa na ugitsi Mchionge na kwaya mchionge mbele Ya alitari Mondo kwa teke ya nikia ya Acha kwa nilumo viskovi Karibuni Baada ya zawadi Kwa baba askofu Takuwa na zawadi za Letu za mbati mungeni Baada ya baraka ya mwisho Bora chinga kia chiga, eba ase li kuwa nyora. Nchugo chaga igabu wango higa. Imoka igabu wango, imoka igabu wango. Mbiya mono, jenyako tebanga mbiya mono liyoka. Mbiya mono. Meki suwa na ya machi ege siya koku nilero. Tuwa nyori reka geni mabu mbiya mono. Kurumu inoga iga imoka. No nye naba katiki sita bonsi. Onde buge ensi. Mbiya mono mabu na abaro lire. Mabu na anu mongi na rusi lero nyasa omo kwa nyiru uwe ni roti kire nyimbo. Biamono, biamono, biamono mari baba chosho mureka gocha baga aka, baga aka mari baba diri baba kote ngera piso wano chinga kina chie chie chupa wano mamo rore bia, na diara amachiko ba manyama abu biamono, na ruhu muga kogu tu mau baba muga ambiomba tia abu gocha biamono, baba neri ma abu biamono, biamono mau mureka chosho, biamono, 
Biamono, Biamono. Maria Bangna, but you go to Mabu, Biamono. Biamono Pito, dear Kyo, you go to Mabu. And there, Rumoraka, Wabaraka, I got you, Nima, Biamono. Biamono. Biamono, what you know, 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 Biamono, tokole buwango, tokole buwango. Kwa geni wanaenda ambari. Biamono. Ngori onyo olirwe. Ngori onyo olirwe. Biamono. Biamono. If you have winded to watch a copycora to my peel, like in the Kerikuabua to you waiting and quite to Mukune, a carapapa, Scobua, Rule Raiga, Takova, Karanato, Tongo, and I on your legacy, Shinayo, Kunipata, Kendiga, Egera Tokore Yaso, to my peel, Tokore and Kore, Biamono Fata, Fata Baruko Asante Asante San. Monsignor Vicar General Tapadani. In Cuba, we are not only a race. We are not only a country. We are not only a country. We are not Santeni sana Papa Skofu, Padri Yohan Onsale. Ngependa kuwaulisa watawa wasimame, wapungie mukono. Oro sisters to stand and wave to the congregation and to the feasters who have come. Santeni watawa kwa kasi yenu. Naomba sana the deacons to stand up and wave to our Christians, wherever you are, the deacons, both from the diocese and the captain and the others who have come. Santeni tunawambea mema kwa kasi ya buwana. Naomba sasa wale mabadli wa nyumbani umba wako. Wasimame, wawasalimia wa kristu wote na mabadli wa geni. Awa padri wa nyumbani. Santeni sana. Tunaenda... Wawa kabujino sasa, wasimame, wasimame wote. Wakabujino hao, ndio hao, te kabujini, hata ndio television yao. Wasimame. Haya waweke, wawabungie mkono, wawabungie mkono. Asante sana. Ningependa kumuomba Badri Superior General, Kustos, Badri Arnold, awasalimie. Ili awatakie memo. Baba Skofu, eh, Vika Jenero wetu, na sisi wote tulio hapa, tumsifi Yesu Kristo. Kwanza ni napena kutoa shukrani kwa ki mwenyezi mungu, kwa kutuongezea zawadi ya padri mwingine katika shirika letu la ndugu wa dogo wa kapuchini. Pili ningependa kuambia baba Skofu wetu, Asante sana kwa kumpatia ndugu yetu Victor daraja ya upadrisho. Tunasema asante sana e, baba Skofu. Tatu, ningependa kumpongeza padri wetu mpya kabisa katika shirika. E, padri Victor, congratulations. Na mungu akubariki katika utume wako. Jambo la ine, ningependa pia kulete salamu za ndugu zetu wa kaputini, wale wanafanya kazi katika majimbo yetu kumi hapa Kenya, na wale ambao wanafanya inje za inji, wamelete salamu zao. Na tano, ninapenda kutuwa shukrani zangu, kwa baba paroko, msaidizi wake, na wanaparokia, waparokia hii, 
kwa kutuandalia sherehe nzuri na kuturuhusu ili mtoto wenu aweze kupata daraja ya upadrisho hapa katika parokia yenu asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki na mwisho nikimalizia e, kwa ruhusa niliyopewa na almashauri wale ambao wananisaidia e, the council members tume e, mtuma ndugu yenu mtoto wenu padri victor aweze kufanya kazi katika jimbo la kitale parokia ya mtakatifu e, charles luanga na tunamtakia mema katika utume wake baada ya mwezi mmoja wa likizo yako tunakuomba uweze kuripoti katika sehemu uliyotumwa kufanya kazi kwa ajili ya kanisa na kufanya kazi kama ndugu mkapuchini asanteni na Mungu awabariki Asante sana Badr Arnold Asanteni vile vile kuna contemplatives from Ijuni Mapadri Musimame Muku simama wakati huo msimame amukua wengi haya asanteni wapungie mkono asante kwa hivyo tunakutakia mema fikta kutoka Karoli Luanga unaelekea Karoli Luanga kule Kitale wale wanaongea hapo utawakuta kule sasa namkaribisha kwa baraka ya mwisho na kesho tukutane kule Nyabururu kwa ndugu zetu mlio tangaziwa Padre Laurent Padre Francisco Mose Padre Vincent Simba kwa miaka 25 Tusimame kwa baraka ya Mwisho na misheni vichwa vyenu mpate baraka na kwa kila sara tutasema amina Mungu aliye muasisi na kiongozi wa kanisa akutegemeze kwa neema yake siku zote ili utimize wajibu wa kipadre kwa moyo mwaminifu amina Mungu akufanye uwe mtumishi na shahidi wa upendo na ukweli wa kimungu hapa duniani na muhudumu mwaminifu wa upatanisho Amen. Mungu akufanye uwe mchungaji halisi unayewapatia waamini mkate wenye uzima na neno la uzima ili wakue katika umoja na mwili wa Kristo Na nyote mlio kuisha kusanyika hapa awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Endeni na amani Ora samalaika aye no mone no bo korwan savanto bonsi vakoroka ino bo obone ne wamalia voi ke enteonsi tokogania ototolie Oire mia ya yaito mosario quange vive ogni casa maria e de vive vinge io se ve corusi qua o vone ne va maria voi che ente onti Kogania ototolie oire mia yo yaito avaruire avataka mwenzi amomo chiche arat
tiña mariga, te miaja eta cuaira. Oh, nene, va maria, hoy que en teón si, tu cogania o totorie, hoy le mio yo y tu maria o morrabu, va va y tu morro, tu tuencito cogombia. ちょっと待って
alikuwa mseminaristi katika jimbo katika parokation kwa kweli tumefanya naye kama seminaristi kwa ya mema mabwa kama kuhani katika nisa lake letu tu kwa katika kwa kweli Mungu aliyemteua aweze kumwezesha kuifanya kazi ya kitume inavyostahili bali anapotumwa kuhudumia wa Kristo na kanisa neema ya Mungu ni pamoja naye kwa wazazi familia na wakati Mwenyezi Mungu abariki sana tena Asante sana asante sana fadha kwa niaba ya jimbo hili la Kisi tunashukuru sana kwa makaribisho ya mara kwa mara katika jimbo hili na tuko tayari kurudi tena tarehe tisa tunarudi tena hapa kwa ajili ya kufungua parokia mpya ambayo imetangazwa siku ya leo kwa niaba ya Caption TV ni Father Vincent Shumila kutoka sehemu ya Ichuni katika jimbo hili la Kisi tunasema asante Asante Mungu aweze kuwabariki ninyi nyote na hongera zaidi kwa ndugu yetu Padre Victor ambaye siku ya leo ametawazwa kuwa mtumishi wa Mwenyezi Mungu. Asante kwa niaba ya wale wote waliowasilisha mitambo hii kuwafikia moja kwa moja. Tuarudie shukurani zetu tukisema Mungu azidi kuwabariki. You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Hebrew chapter 5 verse 6. On Friday, 24th November 2023, a new laborer will be ordained to work in the vineyard of the Lord. The Capuchin Franciscan Friars and Our Lady of Perpetual Help Parish in Ichuni, Kisi County are immensely grateful to the Lord of the Harvest for calling Brother Victor Israel Nyaoko to serve in his vineyard. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo, milele na milele. Amina. Mimi kwa majina naitwa ndugu Victor Nyaoko Mogi, ndugu Francisco Mkapuchini, natokea parokia ya Ichuni. Our Lord of Perpetual Help, Chimbo la Kisi. Nawalika kwenye sherehe yangu ya upatrisho ambayo itafanyika siku ya Ijumaa mnamo tarehe 24 mwezi Novemba. The Holy Mass will start at 9 a.m. East African time, presided over by Bishop Joseph Mairura Okemwa of the Catholic Diocese of Kisi. Capuchin TV extends warm congratulations to Brother Victor Nyaokomogi on this occasion. These celebrations will be aired live here on Capuchin TV and streamed concurrently in all our social media platforms. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Siku ya familia ni siku ya furaha, upendo na umoja. Familia ni hazina ya dhamani tunayopewa na Mungu. Wa Kristo wa Jimbo la Kakamega mpo. Jumamosi hii tarehe 25 Novemba, Capuchin TV. Tutajiunga na mapadri, watawa na wakristu wa Jimbo hilo katika siku yao ya kifamilia mwaka huu. Ibada ya misa itaanza saa nne asubuhi ikiongozwa na askofu Bani Sagwe wa Jimbo hilo. Maadhimisho haya yatakufikia moja kwa moja kwenye runinga hii uipendayo na kwenye mitandao yetu ya kijamii. 
Kapuchin TV. Tunawatakia wakristo wa Jimbo Hilo Baraka upendo na furaha. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV. Kitambulisho Katoliki. I am Sister Elizabeth Onoja. I belong to the Missionary Sisters of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. And um, I'm currently serving as the program coordinator of the Leaders Guild. And I'm really delighted to say that it's been a decade of servant leadership and transformation through collaboration. Yes, it's been 10 years of positive impact. The Leaders Guild has been in existence for 10 years now and was officially started on 8th of December 2013. That was the day it was uh, officially launched. And um, the Leaders Guild is uh, a leadership initiative under the Center for Leadership and Management, Tangaza University College. And it started with the main aim of um, positively impacting society. And that's our vision, leaders positively impacting society. We want to see a transformed society because everything rises and falls on leadership as alluded to by our guru, John Maxwell. Where we are today as the Leaders Guild, because of the blessings of God, we are where we are today because of the many contribution and the large-hearted generosity of people of goodwill who have supported us through the years. Indeed, it is a milestone worth celebrating in thanksgiving to God and to also thank our benefactors, our sponsors, our donors, our partners at different levels for watering this seed called the Leaders Guild. We will be recognizing the effort of key contributors and also we would want to uh, mention that through the support of people of goodwill we've been able to impact life by engaging with emerging leaders um, sisters, religious, Catholic religious sisters. Uh, we have engagements with the youth, whereby we also interact with them using one of our key services called um, the coaching, coaching approach and leadership. Coaching is a must-have tool for leaders in the 21st century. So happy to let you know that this is our 10th year of existence and welcome all to celebrate this milestone with us. My name is Lucy Aguta from the Leaders Guild. I serve in the public relations and I am delighted to welcome you to our 10th anniversary celebration which will be at Tangaza University College from 9 to 5 p.m. on 3rd of December. And our theme is a decade of servant leadership and transformation through collaboration. We are delighted and happy to celebrate this milestone and we welcome you to celebrate with us. We invite you all to the big celebration. Bila shaka ukiona viongo ajua vyaelea kumbuka mpenzi mtazamaji tumejipanga wakati huu tuwaletee kipindi kipya kabisa hewani ambacho kitakuwa kinajulikana kama mshangilie kwa tenzi kipindi ambacho kitakuwa kinakujia katika runinga yako kila siku ya Jumane kuanzia saa kumi na moja jioni. Na bila shaka Fred mwenyewe atakuwa pale kwenye diski atakuwa na changanya mambo. Tunasonga mbele na mimi nitakuwa pale Gabriel Muteti tukizileta moja kwa moja kwako ili tuweze kuburudika na kumshukuru Mungu. Jambo la mwisho. Jambo la mwisho ni kuambia mtazamaji keep it captain TV because big things zinakuja mm -hmm. kwa kipindi hiki. Request yako kama kuna nyimbo zako pia nikiongezea uweze kututumia rafa ili tuweze kuzipanga pale top 10 itakuwa moto kweli. Karibu sana na usi kae mbali.
Washington Trending Story. In a remarkable and unexpected turn of events, for the Jesus Maris Cal, the parochial vicar at St. Paul Cathedral in Yakima, Washington, found himself Monday 20th November delivering twin baby boys for a homeless woman in distress. What started as a quick trip for donuts turned into a life-changing moment for Father Maris Carl when he had the pregnant woman's urgent cries for help near the cathedral grounds. Acting swiftly, he dialed 911, assisted the woman in giving birth to the first baby, and faced the challenge of delivering the second, who was still enclosed in the amniotic sac. Undeterred by the lack of tools, for the Maurice Carl successfully brought the second baby into the world but encountered a tense moment when the newborn wasn't breathing with umbilical cord wrapped around his neck. Displaying remarkable composure and quick thinking, the priest tapped the baby on the back until he started breathing. The surreal experience left for the Maurice Carl reflecting on the symbolic setting dressed in clerics, holding a newborn amidst the shrine of Our Lady. Despite being late for marriage preparation meeting, he texted the engaged couple with a surprising apology, explaining that he had been assisting a woman in delivering twins. The incident not only highlights the extraordinary circumstances under which Father Marie's Carl demonstrated courage and compassion, but also draws attention to the broader issue of homelessness in Washington state. With over 25,000 people considered homeless in a single night in January, the story serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by marginalized communities. The hope is that this heartwarming yet challenging tale will spark awareness and discussions about the social and political conditions surrounding homelessness, as emphasized by Akima Bishop Joseph J. Tyson. Well done, Padre, for your impact beyond the altar. The families of Clement Temoto and Albina Dindi, along with the family of Sylvester Omonyo and Mama Francisca Omonyo, joyfully extend their invitation to celebrate the union of their beloved children, Evans Omulepo and Irene Akasabira, in holy matrimony at St. Teresa of Villa Kwangamur Catholic Church on Friday, 1st December this year, starting from 9 a.m. The ceremony will be followed by a reception at the Omulepo residence in Kotur village. The Holy Mass will be presided over by Bishop Mark Kadima of the Catholic Diocese of Bungoma and will be broadcasted to you live on Capuchin TV. Capuchin TV congratulates Evans and Irene, wishing them a lifetime of happiness and love. For more information, contact Evans on 0724 752 358 or Irene on 0729-221-710. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel.
Bienvenida.